On this episode of Sports Science, we tackle cheap shots. Next up, spearing. There's a good reason why a player gets penalized for spearing. It's flat out dangerous. And not just for the guy getting hit. The player doing the hitting can also end up seriously injured. Our mission here is to find out how much force is generated when a player goes full on into another helmet first. A sign hangs in every pro football locker room. See what you hit. In other words, use your head to locate your opponent, not tackle him. Our question is, who does the rule protect most? The player who receives the head first hit or the player who delivers it? To find out, we take to the sports science turf with one of the hardest hitters in pro football. Cornerback, Quentin Jammer. we want to know is what is spearing and why is it so dangerous? It's basically not looking, running full speed and just... And most injuries that occur with a spear happen to the guy that's doing the spearing. Um, we've actually had injuries where guys get paralyzed and it's very dangerous. The helmet is used to protect your head. It's not used as a weapon, so don't use it as such. In the lab, we've asked Quentin to simulate a spear tackle so we can learn more about the dangers. So we have a regulation football helmet here. And inside, there are six accelerometers that we will use to calculate what your head sees during the impact. The other thing we've done is we've put a wireless accelerometer here right at the center of gravity in the front. We'll be able to get your global body motion. So we'll be able to get some measurements off that as well. To establish the baseline forces of a legal jammer hit, we had him first hammer our crash test dummy with perfect see what you hit form, where he delivers the hit with his shoulder pads, not his helmet. Jammer's legal head generates a mind-boggling 4,800 pounds of force. That's equal to a 35 mile per hour car crash. To find out the force at play during an illegal spear, we suited up professional stuntman Adam Doc Jacobs. Doc's trained to take hits and jammers train to deliver them. So are you nervous? Are you scared? Do you... you want me to tell you I'm cool or do you want the truth? Give me the truth. The truth. No, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> because of the extreme dangers inherent to this test, we asked Quentin to take extra precautions to make the tackle at only a quarter of his normal speed. Do not ever try this at all. glance, Doc seems to get the short end of this illegal stick, but in fact, Jammer's in much more jeopardy. We have some data off of Quinton's helmet. 
basically you would have to take this number and multiply it by four. It's a very simple way of looking at it. But if we do that, we get numbers that would definitely cause severe neck injuries and severe head injuries. Moving at quarter speed, Quentin's neck registers loads of 111 pounds of force. When that number is quadrupled, it can be devastating if his neck is positioned to deliver a spear. Our Vicon House of Moves motion capture system takes us inside the science of the spear. In a legal hit done with perfect form, the large surface area of the shoulder pads disperses the force of the collision over both players' pads. As a result, both players will usually get up from the tackle and walk away healthy. But in an illegal spear, the crown of the helmet strikes a concentrated area on the ball carrier's chest and can easily break his ribs. And the effects on a player delivering the spear can be much, much worse. When a football player makes a spear tackle, the natural curvature of the spine disappears and puts extra pressure on an unnaturally straightened spinal column. Instead, the spine takes on the characteristics of a segmented column, almost like a stack of building blocks, in a phenomenon called axial loading, a force hitting the top of the column, the spear's helmet, then travels down the length of the spine. Unable to bend and flex with the impact, the vertebrae soon slip out of position, then fracture, leaving the spinal cord highly vulnerable. And a damaged spinal cord can be catastrophic. Yeah, there, there's a reason why this is a, this is a major violation. The person delivering a spear has to absorb a lot of force themselves through their neck. And again, that would be a tremendous force for them to control with their neck. So for all the kids out there, you want to play in the pros? Tackle their way. Keep your head tilted up, your neck curved, and see what you hit.